Hi everyone, in this video, I want to show you how you can get a, a better approximation by using extrapolation. Okay, so the exercise here says that use forward difference. This is my um, T1 formula. And central different formulas. This is my D2 formula. To approximate the derivative of fx equals to ln x at x equals to 1.8 using h equals to 0 0.1 and h equals to 0 0.05. Show that you can get a better approximation by using extrapolation. Now, let's say the question didn't mention this. Question say, show how you can get a better approximation. Now, if you see the question here, they give two different h values, then you know the better approximation can be obtained by using extrapolation. Okay, but in this case, it's just straightforward. Okay, so we are given fx equals to log x. Now, it's always good to find the exact solution. The exact solution is the derivative of this. Derivative of ln x will give you 1 over x. Okay, so for x equals to 1.8, you have 1 over 1.8. Okay, press your calculator, you should get 0 0.55556. I'm, going, I'm giving all the solution to 5 decimal places. Now, this, this is my exact solution. Keep this in mind. Okay, now I want to show you that you can also get your answer close to the exact solution by using approximation approach such as the D1 and D2 formula. Let's start with D1 formula. Okay, so what do you know about D1? So we know D1... The forward difference is given as f x plus h minus f x divided by h. Okay, this is my d1 uh, formula, and you also know that your x is given 1.8. My h first h is 0 0.1. So I have function. Look at the function, it's ln x. So I have ln. 1.8 plus 0 0.1 minus ln 1.8 fx is ln x which is 1.8 divide by 0 0.1 okay so this is not difficult you just press the calculator or any programming or online calculator you get 0 0.54 Zero six seven. Okay, now for another value of h, which is zero point zero five, I have long one point eight plus zero point zero five minus ln 1.8 divide by 0 0.05 okay using your calculator you can get 0 0.54798 okay you can see that just by using d1 and with different h values the solution is approaching exact solution okay but it's not quite accurate so if you recall the extrapolation table here okay we have h and h over 2 so for our case here our h is 0 0.1 this is 0 0.05 the first column here are your d values for h 0 0.1 which is 
zero point five four zero six seven and this is d1 with h zero point zero five i have zero point five four seven nine eight okay i've told you last time this is my t11 this is my t21 now you want to find t22 which is using extrapolation so what do you get for t22 so t22 obtained by 2 times t21 minus t11 so 2 times t21 0 0.54798 minus 0 0.54067 Okay, so using your calculator again, you will get 0 0.55529. Okay, it seems pretty close, pretty close with the exact solution. So my T22 is 0 0.55529. To now, you don't have to create this table, but for me, creating a table is always useful. Okay, so what is the error? Let's let's check the error. Although the solution didn't ask for the error, so just to show how you can get a better approximation. Okay, so the error, I mean the absolute error. So what's the um? Equation, if you forgot, the approximation minus is a solution. It's just one, okay? It's not two line. I mean, two is it's not norm. I mean, I should just write one. Okay, the absolute error. So your approximation, your final approximation, you can find the error for D1 with H0.1 and D1 with H0.05. But I just want to look at the final, the improved solution here. So you have 0 0.55529 minus and the exact solution. So this is why we want to find the exact solution earlier on. So my exact solution. 0 0.55556 okay so go back minus 0 0.55556 okay you get 0 0.00027 the error is very small and the solution by using d1 with extrapolation, you see, it's improved. Okay, that's why you want to use extrapolation because extrapolation is used to improve uh, the approximate solution. Okay, now we are not done yet. Now we're going to look at uh, D2. We want to use D2 formula. So now D2 formula. So we have D2 XH. This is central difference formula we have f of x plus h minus f x divided by 2 h so i have d2 x is 1.8 h is 0 0.1 so i have ln 1.8 plus 0 0.1 minus ln oops i am wrong i am wrong this is not like that See, this is what happens if you write too fast. F, X minus H. Okay, this is the D2. This is the central form difference formula. Okay, so ln 1.8 minus 0 0.1 divided by 2 times 0 0.1. Okay, now uh, by using your calculator, you get 0 0.55613. Now for D1 with H equals to 0 
you get 0 0.54067 okay but for the 2 h0.1 you get 0 0.55 which is closer to the z so that's why you can see d2 because the order is 2 it converts quicker than d1 okay continuing you have d2 1.8 0 0.05 I have ln 1.8 plus 0 0.05 minus ln 1.8 minus 0 0.05 divided by 2 times 0 0.05. Now, if you look at my writing here, I'm using a bracket here, right? So just remember. Your lawn must always positive, okay? Okay, so what we have here, missing calculator, you have 0 0.55570. Okay, this is close to the Z already, but we want to show the extrapolation can give even better approximation. So by extrapolation, you have your h for 0 0.1 and 0 0.05. So I have for 0 0.1, 0 0.55613. For 0 0.05, 0 0.55570. Now my t22, I'm going to find t22 here. So, um, again, this is my T11, T21, so T22. So, T22 will be, so D2 is order 2. So, my P equals to 2. If it's order 2, you have 4. T21 minus T11 divided by 3. So, that is 4 times 0 0.55570. Minus 0 0.55613 divided by 3. And you get 0 0.55555. Wow. So, this is very accurate. To 5 decimal places. So, continue by getting the error. So we have my T22 minus with the exact solution. So I keep writing on that. I should have absolute error. So 0 0.55555 minus the exact solution is 0 0.5555. Six. Okay, so you have zero point zero 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 one. Okay, so the approximation is really really close to the Z. So the few thing you can observe here, you can see that by using D one and D two formula. With extrapolation, you can get approximation to the derivative closer to the exact solution. And the other thing you can see that D2, so this is my D2 formula here with extrapolation. And this is my D1 with extrapolation here. See, so you can see that D2 with extrapolation gives um, smaller error then D1 with extrapolation. So D2 is a better approximation. Obviously because the order is 2 and D1 is order 1. Okay, that's all for today. So I hope um, now you know how to find approximation using extrapolation. Please watch my other videos on numerical differentiation topic. Okay, bye.